This is how the sorting algorithm works. You start by comparing the first two elements, and you swap them if the first element is bigger than the second. Then you compare the second and the third element, and again, if the second is bigger than the third, you swap them. Pretty much, you go comparing every adjacent element, and if the one to the left is bigger than the one to the right, you swap them. You keep on doing this until you reach the end of the array. This has the effect of kind of bubbling the biggest element all the way to the end. Once you've done that, you're going to start the, the duration again by reducing the array size by one. So here we've gone through one iteration and we so we bubbled eight all the way to the end, which is the biggest element. Now we start again, five and three, five is bigger than three, we swap them. And five and one, five is bigger than one, we swap them. You keep on doing this again, a second iteration, but this time instead of going all the way to the end of the array, you go to one less of the array. This has the effect of bubbling the second biggest element all the way to the end, which is going to be seven. So here we go. That, that has seven at the end. We keep on, rep we repeat the array, reducing it by one uh, size again. Three and one, we got to swap them. Uh, five and three, we don't have to swap them, and so on and so forth. And we do this until the, the length of the array is just one, or until we, ha we went through an entire loop without sorting anything. Um, a, a, not, a not optimized me method of doing this is just doing it until the size of the array is one. Remember that in each iteration, we reduce the size of the array by one because we bubbled the biggest one all the way to the end. That's an unoptimized method. An optimized method is that you keep track of every time you swap elements, and if you go through one whole uh, iteration of the array without swapping anything, you know that everything is in order because you didn't have to swap anything, you just stop right there. So right now, uh, this is our last iteration. We're gonna compare one and two, two and three. Nothing was swapped, that was the whole array, we stop. So this is uh, the code for the bubble sort algorithm. This is not the optimized code. In an optimized version, you go through the loop here of, swa of, fi of comparing the elements and swapping them. And if you go through an entire loop without swapping anything, you finish. You don't continue because the, uh, if you didn't swap anything, it means it's already in order. This doesn't check for that. This actually just goes through every loop one hour at a time just sorting it out and even if it's sorted it keeps on going through all the loops um, so this is the very simple uh, bubble sort algorithm um, I given an explanation earlier of how bubble sorting works so so this is pretty much what it does if you have an array of 10,024 elements we go from 10,023, we go one less because we're swapping, we, we're comparing pairs, so we could swap them. Uh, what we do is we start from one to 1023, we go through the entire array, finding the largest element and, and moving it to the right. We do this by comparing adjacent elements. We compare the first and the second element. If the first element is bigger than the second element, we swap them. Then we go to the second and third element. If the second is bigger than the third element, we swap them, and so on and so forth. This makes sure that the largest element kind of trickles down or, or bubble sorts down all the way to the right. And once we've done this for one iteration, we start the loop again. We go from one, but this time instead of going to 1023, we go to 1022 because we already found the largest element and we put it at the end. And we start the process again. We compare the first element to the second element. If the first element is larger than the second element, we swap them, and so on and so forth. So in each iteration, we're taking the biggest element and, and shifting it all the way to the right in the array. That's the bubble part of it. It kind of trickles down all, all the way to the right, and we keep on sorting them. I've given an explanation already uh, in an in a intro uh to this video uh, on how the bubble sorting algorithm works so a few minutes ago you had already seen seen how this works but um, that's it so this is the the algorithm for bubble sort it's a very simple algorithm these two lines are not part of the bubble sort they're just uh, to display 
the the graphics and the screen so you could see graphically um, how it's sorting the array which I'm going to show you right now but basically what this does it just keeps on going through through the entire array each time reducing the array by one and finding the largest element and shifting it all the way down to the right so let's see what that looks like graphically okay so here we go it's taking a whole bunch of unsorted uh, arrays and it's uh, it's sorting them it's it's uh, going through the loop and it's sorting them out and this is what it looks like after it gets sorted so this is what the bubble sort looks like in action there might be a little bit of flickering on the screen unfortunately this video this uh, screen recording program is not perfect sometimes it flickers a little bit there might not be but if, if it flickers a little bit just make sh just realize that the algorithm itself doesn't flicker at all it perfectly sorts them out and so y so you see it started out with an unsorted array and it's taking the largest element putting it all the way at the end and it's reducing the array by one and this is the effect this is how it ends up sorting them it starts off by at the end going from the largest to the smallest until it sorts everything out so that's it that's bubble sort very simple sorting algorithm it's a very slow algorithm but it works and it's one of the first sorting algorithms that you taught in school